Hello everybody, back at you again with another Destiny 1 video. So I was just wondering guys, please let me know in the comments below if you like this Destiny 1 content. Because like, because if so, I will totally come back to it. Because I really enjoy coming back to this game myself. So today, as you guys already know, we are going to be going into the last mission of Vanilla Destiny. The Black Garden. Fun fact about myself, the the boss theme at the at the end fight is one of my favorite, if not favorite, soundtracks in this entire game. I absolutely love it so, so much. So I may try to, you know, stretch that boss battle out a little bit longer, not just completely melt the boss. So we are going to be doing it on hard difficulty, of course. I mean, obviously. And for our loadout... And I do not have the legendary Fatebringer, I am sorry. Um, RNG has not gifted me with that quite yet. But I do have the Adept Fatebringer, so I will be using that. And I will also be using my OG Praetorian Foil along with the Hezen Vengeance. I mean, obviously, right? We gotta go with an old school. I mean, this isn't exactly old school, but an old school. Um, Vex Loadout. I mean, come on now, man. This is one of my favorite missions just of all time. Like, we gotta, we gotta go back in time. You know, I mean, I was thinking about using the vision of Confluence, and then I was like, oh, but the Fatebringer, you know? It's the Fatebringer. So we're gonna be going with that. And then we're also gonna be using Gunslinger. Usually I'd be going Bo, but, you know, Bo wasn't around back in vanilla. So, uh, <laughs> Golden Gun it is. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. I am really looking forward to this. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do commentary-wise throughout this video. Probably just gush about how nostalgia and, and how nostalgia, how nostalgic and how beautiful this mission is. And oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm sorry, I'm just genuinely excited right now. <laughs> Alright. You know, that's something that they don't do as much, as often in Destiny 2 anymore, is that those, uh, those, the dialogue in between loading screens. I don't know why they stopped doing that. I remember they used to do it, um, they used to do it going into strikes and stuff, and they just stopped. Alright, so, one thing I did remember is that the Black Garden actually is on Mars. You gotta go through the portal. You know, normally you'd think, like, oh, Vex, it's on Venus. No, it's actually on Mars. Which I'm sure all you guys already know that. <laughs> All right, let's head to the portal. Kill the gate defenders. All right, that is exactly what I will do. Or I hope this works. Did they kill him already? Oh, here they. No, those are the taken. You're not supposed to be here. What are you doing here? All right, so I guess it's already open. Maybe somebody else already killed them. But here we are. We're back in here. I don't we? know if I'm this going to be. Garden. It's not on any map of known space and time. I guess we just keep going. Sorry, I'll try not to talk over the dialogue. Um, but I probably won't have any music in the background. Um, you guys are probably gonna want to listen to the the original audio, and I want you to. So I'm gonna probably just keep the bass audio in there. I probably won't dilute it with any any background music. And these guys do come to life. Hey, what's going on? See, I remember that. Fun, fun, fun. I always forget that this hand can is actually art. Because <laughs> it's the exotic version. <laughs> Alright. I can't wait, man. It's going to be so fun. I love this mission right now. I'm getting so nostalgic just playing through it. This is so awesome. Praetorian Foil, man. You're my baby. I love this gun so much. Let's try not to get too reckless. Alright. Damn! Oh, for some reason Outlaw isn't procking. I don't know why. You harpies are a little finicky. Dude, Firefly is so good. It's so good. I mean, Dragonfly is great and all, I know they buffed it, but like... I don't know, I still feel like Firefly is stronger, man. It's just such a good freaking perk. Oh. <laughs> I always remember they'd be like in the loading zone and it wouldn't like register the shot. I don't know why. Sorry again, I don't really know what to talk about. I'm just gonna be over here gushing about how much I love this flipping mission. Oh, okay, I know something to talk about. Uh, Shadow Keep. I am so excited for Shadow Keep. 
the new Vex armor. They're bringing back a Vex raid, man. What are we? I think we're going back into the Black Garden or something like that. And, like, the Vex are going to be, like, invading from it. I can't wait. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait for a Shadow Keep, man. It's looking so good. It's been so long since we had a Vex raid. Fun fact, the um, Vault of Glass is probably my favorite raid of all time. Absolutely love it. So, I can't wait. Sorry, I can't wait for them to bring back another Vex raid. I'm so hyped for it, man. Like, I'm gonna try to get all of the Vex armor, dude. I'm just gonna be... Oh, I'm just gonna be flexing that stuff, man. I can't wait. But, um, until then, man. There's still some weapons I need to get. Like, I haven't gotten the Izignagi yet or anything like that. Well, I heard it was gonna be good in the new meta, so... <laughs> Probably should try and get my hands on it. Although a lot of you guys may be Destiny 1 players, so you might not have any clue or care about what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> so I'll try to stick to Destiny 1. But any of you guys that have been playing Destiny 1 and maybe haven't liked Destiny 2 as much, what I can say is that the game is so much better than what it used to be. And that Shadowkeep is looking really good. And they are bringing back a Vex Raid, and uh, they're going to incorporate the Black Garden again. And I think that's super cool. So... What I can say is that you guys say if you guys gave up on D2, if you haven't played her for a while, I highly recommend hopping back in Shadow Keep because it's looking really good. Also, the base game, the entire base game, and the first two expansions, like, um, what was it, Curse of Osiris and Warmind, is going completely free. So I think that's totally awesome. That and that, um, you'll be able to go to the DLC areas. Take them out. Oh my gosh, dude. This gun's so good. It's too good. Oh, I expected that to do more damage. <clears throat> Praetorium Boil, you're my baby. Fatebringer, you're my baby. I'm not even hitting headshots, and it's just still one-tapping them. <laughs> I'm too powerful, man. I'm too strong. <clears throat> Got dudes behind us? Ah, oh, it's whatever. Let's just keep going. I can't wait to hear that beautiful masterpiece of a song once we get to the boss fight, dude. Like... It's ridiculous how good it is. I love it so much. We're coming up on it here. If you guys remember that strike going in the opposite direction, you can get the Amaga loop from this strike. Oh, that was a good gun. That was a good gun. I never got the, the God Roll, but I did get one with like Spray and Play, Firefly, which was really freaking good. And I love that roll. But it's still not the Fate Bringer, man. Fate Bringer's so good. Hey, you know, I thought, you know, we'll, might as well make discussion while I'm sitting here shooting at stuff. What was one of your favorite things from Destiny 1? Or anything that you loved in Destiny 1 that you would absolutely love to see come back in Destiny 2? What I do know is that they're, they're bringing the Monte Carlo back, which is pretty cool. I wasn't the biggest fan of it myself, but no, I think it's really cool that they're bringing it back. Also, they're bringing back Twilight Gap. I can't wait for that. And they're bringing back Widow's Court. So I think that's super cool to bring back for some fan favorites from D1. But anyway, enough about me. Um, so yeah, any, like, please, guys, let me know what some of your favorite things from Destiny 1 were. And, um, shut up, bro, I'm trying to talk. I don't need you screaming. And anything that you'd like to maybe see make a return. Uh, I'd love to know. Just kind of make discussion. Try to make discussion, you know, in the comment section. <clears throat> Alright, we're coming up on it. If I remember correctly... Just beyond here. You're gonna put the this place is just one big eye into that thing and it should shoot a beam, right? Pop. Poor Vex, dude. Oh my gosh, just mutilating them. Oh, there we go, our first heavy. I always forget that heavy uh, heavy ammo synthesis is a thing, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with that quite yet. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh. Oh, yes. You guys remember the perk tripod on rocket launchers? That was such a good perk, man. Now rocket launchers are over here, rocking only, like, one in the mag. Which is understandable, because realistically, you only reload one in the mag. And it's like, wow, magical. There's three in the mag now, but... Anyway, Ugh. I don't know how much I'm going to cut this video. I just keep on talking. I keep on blabbering my mouth off. Oh, look at my beautiful, my beautiful new monarchy ghost. Don't tell me they didn't register just because I sprinted. <laughs> <coughs> so 
sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I hate it when it does that. It got it that time. Okay. Let's go to the other one. Skirt! Let's hit the other one. It's working. That wall does proc on the harpies. What the heck? You guys were being weird before. Ooh, a rare. Thank you very much. Look how powerful I am. Just melting these these minotaurs, man. Let's go. Thanks for the heavy, bro. Like I actually really appreciate it. <clears throat> you guys can probably tell, but I'm such a geek for new, for new Monarchy. I love New Monarchy back in D1, man. <laughs> Still do love them. I just... <sighs> kind of sucks that factions are kind of pointless right now, and that Bungie's kind of neglecting them. Which is, I mean, understandable. They got other things to focus on. But I want them to bring back faction rallies, man. I thought that was such a cool idea, and they just haven't done anything with them. And what sucks is that I haven't really seen anything related to them in Shadowkeep. But, I mean, there's a lot of other great stuff coming anyway, so I'm not that bummed about it. But, I mean, I mean, obviously, I'm sure they're going to come back to them, you know, make more use of them in the future. But as of right now, we'll see what happens. And I, if I remember correctly, a thing should spawn, and I will insert it inside there, I believe. Gunslinger's trance. As the gate lord. Bro, I'm the gate lord. Can you let me in? I'd appreciate it. Where's the little thing I gotta put the eyeball in? Put the eyeball in? Is this that thing? There's the thing! Wait, no, that's not the thing. Oh, it's gonna do its own thing. I keep on saying the word thing. Oh, I always love looking at this. The visuals were gorgeous. Look at that beam. The beam's gonna shoot out. You ready for this? <clears throat> Pew! There it goes. And then it's gonna like reflect all. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous all of this is. Goes nothing. <laughs> there it is, guys! Oh, I can't wait. There it is, man. I can't wait. Let's go. Of course, we're not gonna skip the cutscene. What? <laughs> I'm not crazy. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. Oh, I look so sexy. Sorry, not biased at all. <clears throat> They're like, what, bro? I saw a meme where it's like when you open up a pack of bubblegum in class and then everybody in class does this. Not not T-Pose, they look back at you. <laughs> She's like, bro, give me that freaking bubble gum. <laughs> like, sup guys, what's going on? I look so good. So, think you can kill a god? <laughs> Don't think I have a choice. <laughs> Dialogue on point. I freaking love the voice acting in this game. It's so good. The EXO voice is so sick, bro. Oh, here we go. I'm getting really excited now. I'm sorry. I promise you, I'm not like hyping this up on purpose or anything. I'm genuinely very excited to fight this boss again. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I keep on pulling out that. Stop doing that, Michael. Oh my gosh, you're teleporting up here. Sup, bros? Sup? Alright, I don't wanna just melt the boss too quickly. I gotta I gotta stretch out this fight, man. I gotta really milk it. I gotta milk the crap out of this fight. Hope the game volume isn't too loud. <clears throat> Turn it up a tad. I think it's at like negative ten decibels, not that you guys care about that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want me talking a crap ton right now. Maybe I'll keep my mouth a little more shut so you can just watch the game play. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what you guys want. And I'm already gonna die. <laughs> Come on, Michael. You're stronger than this. Push out of it, you freaking veteran. I'm sorry. I've just been using the Fabringer the entire time. <laughs> I'll use the Fusion Rifle more on the boss. I promise. Don't kill yourself. Ah. See, who needs heavy ammo, man? I don't need freaking heavy ammo. Are you kidding me? What are we doing now? I think that's that. Oh, what's up, bro? What's going on? So what's popping, my G? All right, you're going to shoot the little juice on him and make him come to life? Because I'm ready for that. Is that everyone? We've still got more friends? Juice, man! I'm going to hop on him. Oh, no, I'm on the wrong one. Oh, frick. <clears throat> sup, bro? 
I don't even know what's going on. Is bringing that statue to life. You got that right. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize for being convenient to my bodily functions. One thing that, is that I've always wondered is that there, were these like initially like living Vex or did it literally turn a statue to life? Is one thing that I am indeed wondering. Alright, let's like not get too reckless here. Protorian foil, my child. Sup, bro? What's poppin', my G? Like I said, don't wanna, don't wanna stretch this out too much. The theme hasn't quite started playing yet. It's not this. It's the I think when you get to like the last boss, when stuff gets real intense, is when it starts to play. All right, that's the first one. That's sick. You love to see it. I love to see it. We all love to see it. Let's keep going. Heart is dying. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, I've been clearing my throat. I really apologize for my my dry cough, my bad. Hope it's not ruining your wonderful experience by watching me shoot these dudes. Ooh, it's starting to ramp up. Is this it? Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> Freaking love it, man. Freaking love it. This is the theme, bro. I felt like a total bad butt when I was going through this the first time. Not even just the first time, every time, man. It's the best freaking theme ever. Once it starts getting all epic, it's gonna get there. Just wait. I don't think it's there quite yet. I'll let you know when it gets there. This dude's moving. He's trucking along, man. He's making this progress. Alright, got some heavy ammo. I can reload now. <clears throat> can you not? That is annoying, sir. And I'm... Ooh, I hit it! I was fully expecting to miss that rocket. Look at that dude's got a weird shaped head. No offense. It's kind of funny looking. Here we go. It's gonna start ramping up now. It's the last guy. Let's do it. Give me this sick music. I literally might let him live just for a while, just so I can listen to it. It's not quite there yet. <clears throat> this is it! This is the theme, bro! Let's freaking go! Alright, I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can hear it. This is the sauce. Heroic is fudge, baby. Like I said, I'm gonna let him live just for a little bit so we can hear out this song. <clears throat> Alright, you guys think it's about time? Is it that time? We gonna we gonna kill him? All right, I think it's about time. Should we finish him? Let's finish him. This is the moment, man. We're at the freaking climax. There he goes. Let's freaking go. <laughs> I love this theme so much, bro. There he goes, man. We're killing the heart. 
Get out of here, bro. We're stronger than you. I just killed a freaking god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suck, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this so much. We're back on Mars. The shroud of darkness <clears throat> is lifting, and light returns to the traveler. You know. The speaker is calling us home. Woo! You know, I would just like to say I love um the new voice of the ghost, then you know the current voice of the ghost. But one thing I will say is that you know I do think he's better than Peter Dinklage. No offense to Peter Dinklage, who was the OG, but I do remember one thing that was super nostalgic is that um. I love the way that he said that Peter Dinklage, the old ghost, said that cutscene. He was like, we're back on Mars. He said it something like that, and it just was so cool to listen to. Maybe I'm just crazy. I'm sure you OGs remember that, right? Old Peter Dinklage. Anyway. Look at that. Looking good, man. Looking good. No rewards. Thanks. Appreciate it. Let's go see the, uh, the stranger. Do we get another stranger's rifle? Or do you only get it after the first one? We'll see. Oh my gosh, wait, you're not gonna show us the cutscene? What? Don't tell me it's only after the... Hold the phone. Is that only after the original mission? Or is it just not in general? Well, that sucks. I wanted to see the cutscene, man. That is not cool. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess this is the end of the video now. So, that was freaking awesome. I love that mission so much. That boss fight is just so freaking heroic. You got the that boss theme going in the background. I love that theme so much. It's just a masterpiece, man. It's just a flipping masterpiece. It's a work of art, and I freaking love it. There you guys have it. One of my favorite missions ever. I, oh, I love that mission so much, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, because I, I, de I definitely enjoyed making this video, man. I absolutely loved revisiting, revisiting this mission. It was so much fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, would highly recommend, you know, if you want to go on a trip through nostalgia, maybe give this mission a shot for yourself once again. You know, I'm sure it's been some time, but it's really fun. Really fun, super nostalgic, awesome time. I guess I, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So, I should probably just end it here. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember to stay as positive as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.